Hi, I'm Yan Chun Li. I'm a postdoctoral researcher in CPS Virginia Tech. Today, I'm going to talk about my research on high density, high efficiency adapter design. In recent years, AC to DC adapters are widely used in consumer electronics, including portable device, official equipment, entertainment, electronics, and etc. According to the report from IHS Technology, it can be seen that the adapter market is about a billion in 2015 and reached a peak of 9 billion by 2018. The market size is quite similar with the telecom and data center. Furthermore, the laptop computer adapter market is about a half of total power adapter market. That makes our research and technology development meaningful and has a significant impact on the industry. Here shows the state of our 65 watt adapter. Because there is no power factor requirement on the 65 watt adapters, and that such topology is used. In the state of art products, the switching frequency is usually below 150 kilohertz, and the efficiency is around 90 percent. The power density is uh, up to 11 watt per cubic inch. As mentioned, there is plenty of room to improve. We can make it better. This page summarizes the proposed design strategy for a 65 watt adapter. We propose a two stage solution, which is a bridgeless boost converter followed by an LLC DCX. By replacing the silicon devices to gain device, we can reduce the conduction and switching losses and increase the switching friction by 10 times higher than state of art design. Also, by injecting the Third order harmonics, we can reduce the bus cap to about 50%. And we, when we increase in the switching friction to megahertz level, we can implement PCB based transformer with shielding layer to reduce common mode noise. We will realize the soft switching for all devices and minimize the DVDT issue which is also beneficial for EMI noise. A simple one-stage EMI filter can be used due to higher frequency operation and a lower CM noise. With all the features mentioned above, we expect two times reduction on the bus capacitance, five times reduction on transformer, and three times reduction on the EMI filter. This is our preliminary prototype hardware. In the middle of part is our power stage, and both sides is for easy connection and testing. In the left hand side uh, is the bridgeless boost converter, and here shows the EMI filter, uh, boost inductor, and active devices. By injecting the third order harmonics current, we can reduce the bus capacitance to 33 microfarad. The left Right hand side of this board is the LLC DCX, uh, which is based on gain device and a PCB based transformer with a shielding layer. This is the experimental waveform in light cycle. The pink curve is VAC, the green curve is inductor current. The blue curve and yellow curve are the VGS and VDS of the main switch. This is the waveform in switching cycle, and it can be seen that the ZVS is achieved. That's all my video now. Thank you for your attention.